Hey guys, today we're going to be doing the Swell Pro Splash Drone 4 firmware updates. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder on your desktop and we're just going to call it SD4 updates. Then you go to, go to their website. I have it bookmarked already. You want to go to obviously Splash Drone 4 and then download. And you're going to go and download the firmware update tool. And you want to save this. Doesn't really matter where. When it's finished downloading, you want to extract this file. To the folder that we made. So that would be SD4 updates. Extract. Okay. Then you want to extract the actual tool right here. I'm going to extract it right in the same spot. Okay. So then this is the actual tool you want to run and this is where we're going to put uh, the firmware that we download okay so you go back to the swell pro website and we're going to start with the flight controller I'm going to download this save And here we are, the flight controller. You want to extract to the folder that says firmware. Right. So then the next thing you do. is you go to the firmware tool and you run the firmware tool the shark firmware version 2 exe and this is okay this is just precaution run anyways and you want to load the firmware okay into the firmware tool okay so you want to do this and do that and you open it to the firmware tool then you want to plug in your drone make sure it's standing upright I've always had better results with it upright and then you power it on the drone Update. Now we'll do the firmware on the remote controller. So you want to go back to the Swell Pro 4 Splash Drone Core website, downloads, Splash Drone 4 remote controller firmware. So you download this, save. All right, remote controller firmware. Okay, and then we're gonna go to show in folder. Now we want to extract this to the firmware folder that we made earlier. Okay, select, extract. Okay, a radio, All right? So now you want to open up your tool. Okay. 
you're going to click zero. And if it's not loaded already, you can load it just by doing this. And then you connect your remote to the computer. And when you turn on the remote, you have to remain pressing the power button until the update is done. So you power on the remote and click update while holding the power button. Okay, and for the last one, um, you don't need the tool or anything. So we want to go to the gimbal software. I'm going to go to save SG SC3-S gimbal software. Okay. Show on folder. Okay. Extract to the firmware folder we have. Okay. And it has its own tool and everything is preloaded with this one. So you should be able to just turn it on. Okay, everything's preloaded. And you plug in your drone computer and power on the drone. And click update. And you got to update all three. There, now your drone is fully updated. And if you want to see if your drone is working or has the right firmware on it, turn the drone on, then plug it into the computer by USB cable. Okay, run the firmware program. Select where, what firmware you want to make a uh, check. In this case, I'm doing the flight controller. So it would be on number two. And then you click FW information and it'll pop up. The hardware version should read the same as here and here and then you know that your drone is updated thanks for watching bye